واي بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته students إن شاء الله today we are going to discuss uh, chapter four a part of uh, chapter four قريب كم إن شاء الله ما أنتوا حنا يقدرون chapter four students إن شاء الله chapter four basically was uh, the drainage system and the river system so we have done the first part of the chapter the drainage system we have done uh, the meaning of the drainage system we have also done the key terms and the definitions of the of drainage system also we have done the different types of drainage system so the f we have also mentioned it uh, the, the six drainage types we have done the first period uh, they depend on three main parts so you have to keep in mind so inshallah today our chapter will be continue inshallah and the next part of the chapter will be refer them so we have done the first part which we call the drainage system uh, the mean of drainage system the different types of drainage system and the basically w we have done the terms and definitions of the drainage system so the next uh, part of the chapter will be the refer system inshallah the chapter is the refer system so the chapter drainage system ka yeh qaybi isa yeh terms ke definition iska chapter 2 wuhu ka blaabi marka qaybti isa dame refer system ka and so refer system so let me define first the term refer so mean is wuhu biyadi qaybti wuhu ka suara gnay biya shub ka and inta biya shub ya dunya da kichira terms ke definition iska biya shub ya da ame drainage system iska loo istiqim alo qaybti marka wuhu biya refer system ka refer system the meaning of refer means is a natural water course usually fresh water flowing towards an ocean a lake a sea or another river so you know river everybody knows a uh, river uh, basically when we talk about when we define the term river mean is uh, the, the water that following the channel or the river valley can be a natural usually they can be a fresh water this water always follows towards an oceans lakes or sea or another river rivers are part of hydrological cycle water generally collects in a river from precipitation through a drainage basin from surface runoff and other sources such as groundwater springs and the and the release of the stored water as we mentioned the first part uh, we have said the part the the water of the river can be the part of hydrological uh, cycle water and they usually collect it as a precipitation through the drainage basin that run off uh, the surface of the earth so let me differentiate the difference between uh, bathymology and limnology so basically bathymology and limnology uh, these terms they basically are different so those people who study the rivers in general the rivers in the wall uh, those people who study and search the study of the rivers in general we call bathymology when it comes to limnology is the study of inland waters in general limnology means those people who study uh, limnology includes uh, chemicals biological and physical and also we can say those people who study rivers streams reservoirs and also ponds those people who study we call limnology so these are the difference between the mythology and limnology so we have to keep on it. Many rivers start streams from spring, which are fed by underground water. As we mentioned, rivers always start streams, lakes, and ponds, and, 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 and other streams. Most of the rivers, most of the rivers in the, in the category start in highland areas, where a lot of rainfall receive it, such as highland areas known as catchment areas. This is very important word. Catchment areas means 
waxa la raada waa meelaha highlands ka ee biyaha badan hela ee slides ka ama wax weyn slopes ka ee chanchar ku badan yihiin meel ba meeshay ka chanchar ka chanchar santay slope ku ku hooseeya ay ka biyo badan ay ka biyo badan tahay so that's why we call those uh, areas that has a slope or a highland areas or topography we call uh, catchment areas the wall along river is called nile we be the sun so shake ne gubiga gu der dunida wax la rada nile so the next section so students ashar kina intu gu mim so qayb tan maanta inshallah development and characteristics of river basically before we go down before we land deeply the how river works erosions and the mainly functions of the river we have to learn the development and characteristics of the river means we have to learn the terms and definitions terms on and definitions of the river we have to we have to learn first waxaan arday barayna marka koobad insha Allah ee intina an casharka u dhex gelin wabiga iyo sida uu shaqeeyo iyo erosionska ka dhaca waxaanu baranayna termiska iyo definitionska loo isticmaalo wabiyada so the first one the start point of the river is known as its source source macne wax way was the start point the beginning point wabiga meesha uu ka bilaamo ama barbilowga wabiga wax loo yaqaan source that means what the start point of the river is called source the end point of the river which terminus is called the mouth mouth macne wax way wa meesha ugu bigu ku dhamaado ama dhamaadka ubiga ay wax loo yaqaan mouth that's the end point of the river the third term will be course course wax la raada the path the river follows from the source to the mouth called course course wax la raada meesha ugu bigu ka bilaamo iyo meesha uu ku dhamaado inta u dhaxaysa ayaa loo yaqaana course wa between the start point of the river and end point of the river between we call course the third term waxna qona sa permanent permanent or river which follow through all the year are referred to as permanent wax la raada wabiga sanad ka oo dhan socda ee aanan kala guyn ee sanad ka oo dhan biyo isu socdaan wax loo yaqaana permanent The next term we call intermittent or seasonal. Seasonal معناه وح 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 were those that follow seasonal are said to be seasonal. Intermittent وح لويا قنا ووبيجا سنة كوردن مرنا سعدا مرنا أنا سعدا بيس. و the river that follow a certain year or certain year of the year qayb ka mid ah sanadka socda inta kala na biyis u istaagan ama kala go'a ama gura ayaa wax loo yaqaan intermittent these are the different permanent and terminal the next term which is very important tributaries tributaries is streams are rivers that are small in size small rivers that follow into a bigger one are called tributaries tributaries ko xalo yiraahda walaagaga walaagaga iyo streamiska iyo harooyinka wabiga ku soo dar biyaha ayaa wax loo yaqaan tributaries the streams and lakes that are the river we call tributaries these are the streams and lakes ponds reservoirs that are the water the river wax loo yaqaan tributaries waxaanu wa streamiska walaaga walaaga iyo lakeska harooyinka wabiga ku soo dar biyaha ayaa wax loo yaqaan tributaries the next term which is very important confluence tributaries feed the main river with the water the point at which a tributary is joined the main river is known as confluence confluence is very very important students you have to keep on it tributaries wax loo yaqaan ag lag tiri lag tuwi bi biya ku darta sida darteed meelaha laga ga ama streams ka ama lakes ka wabiga biyaha ku dara halka ay kaga daraan dhinaca ay kaga daraan qaybta ay kaga daraan ay wax loo yaqaan confluence confluence waa laaga laagta streams ka iyo rivers ka si meesha ay wabiga biyaha ay kaga darayaan barta ay kaga biirayaan biya ay wax loo yaqaan confluence but the main river so the next part 
this uh, so sorry together the main refer and it is tributes make up the refer stem hadu intas waxay sameeyaan and so shagne refer stem when it comes to the source of the refer when it comes to the mouth of the refer when it comes to the chorus of the refer the permanent the intermittent tributaries the confluence they make up the refer stem intas waxay suurta geliyaan nidaamka oo wabigu u socdo refer stem at any point along the river the side towards the source is referred up stream or up river up stream side or up river wax la yiraahdaa point to all ba oo ka xiga halka uu wabigu ka soo bilaabmo ee waa point to all ba halka joogto oo ka xigta halka uu wabigu ka soo bilaabmo ayaa wax la yiraahdaa side and up stream side or up river wa point along the river the side towards the source is referred to up stream or up river the next term or definition down system side or down river wa la yiraahdaa down river ama down side down system side wa la yiraahdaa qayb walba oo wabiga xaga uu ilaa inta uu ku dhamaanayo qaybta ka xigta side ka joogto ilaa wabiga dhamaadka wabiga inta ka xigta ayaa wax la yiraahdaa down side system ama down river or the one towards the mouth is down river so with the reference to the land drainage is the removal of water from any area a unit area of land which is drained by a single river system are called drainage basin this we have defined the first part drainage waxa ku soo sheegney wa streams ka iyo lakes ka harooyinka iyo meelaha streams ku meelaha ay sameeyaan ay wax loo yaqaan biyaha ay sameeyaan ay loo yaqaan drainage biyo shub loo yaqaan laakiin drainage basin this is very important this term unit area of land which is drained by a single river system called drainage basin drainage basin wax la raa inta dul ah ee isku xiran ee biyooga hal meel u wada shubaya ay wax la raa drainage basin for example jingada in soo qaadana roofka jingada qaybna dhinaca soo rogintay qaybna dhinaca soo rogintay markuu roobku doo qaybna biyo dhinaca soo shubayaan qaybna dhinaca soo shubayaan qaybta dhinaca si ee biyo wada shubaysa wax la raa inta dul ah ee isku xiran ee biyooga hal meel u wada shubaya ay wax la oranaya wa drainage basin marka wa inta biyo ee dhinacu ee hal dhinac biyo ha wada shubaya ay wax loo yaqaan drainage basin wa very important you have to keep on it it is separated from other nipreen basin by a boundary called watershed this is also a very important term watershed wax la raada wa meesha kala qaybisa laba drainage system tusaalehan waxaan soo qaadana jingada intii labada qaybooda biyaha dhinac u kala shubo wax la drainage basin inteera kala qaybisa u dhaxaysa roofkeera kala qaybinaya ayaa wax la raada watershed ama divide or divide that means it divides two drainage basin or two drainage system it's a pretis two two drainage system wax kala qaybinaysa laba boundary or drainage ah the high area in, in between the tributaries are called intervolves this is very also important intervolves intervolves ko xala raada wa xoog bala somaliga xoog yani wa meshal laba drainage system u dhaxaysa wax la raanaya laba stream ama two lakes it between the two lakes between two streams mesha u dhaxaysa ay wax la raana intervolves waxna ri waxa jira streams iyo lakes wabiga biyaha ku soo dara streams ka iyo lakes ka for example ergabo it has a lot of streams and it has a lot of lakes that so between the streams or between the lakes inta u dhaxaysa we call intervolves so the the next term river general river channel is a groove or furrow through which the river water follow this channel is commonly called a river valley and it is size depend on the volume of the water that's flowing through it the load being carried by the river and the velocity of the water river channel ku xalaada students you have to follow me please river channel ku xalaada wa mesha 
ay biyuhu marayaan wa chaaha ay biyuhu marayaan ay biyuhu ay qulqulayaan ay wax loo yaqaan river channel ay go groove or valley through which the river water flow meesha ay biyuhu marayaan chaaha ay biyuhu marayaan ay wax loo dhanaya river channel the channel is commonly called a river valley channel ka biyuhu marayaan wax loo dhanaya chaaha biyuhu marayaan river valley there's a question here students keep on mind please you have to you have to uh, pay attention this question river canal rift valley ga biyo u marayan adeg biyo mesha ay marayan size keeg u inu weynaado iyo inu yaraado biyo mesha maray do hada biyo u marayan rift valley ga biyo maray channel ka biyo marayan ine biyo si weynaadan iyo ina yaraadan maxa go'aamiya the size waxa go'aamiya ko the volume of the water lava the load being carried by the river three the velocity of the water sudugo amenaya for example and the volume of the water biya mesha maraya inta leeyin hadi biyuhu badan yihiin that means general ka biyuhu maraya no wax weyn way balaadanaysa it expands the load being carried by the river sido kala waxay ku xirantahay load ka yadha gaxaanta u biyaha sidaan hadii load ka ay biyo sidaan ay badan yihiin wabiga way qodaan kadib markay qodaan wabiga u balaada ama channel ka soo mid wax noqda expand oo kala baxay and the velocity of the water velocity of the water noo maxay what the speed of the water speed ka ay biyo ku socdaan hadii ay badan yihiin that means wax weyn load ka sidaan bay ugu River discharge. The next term is the amount of water that's through a particular point of the river course. While that way, it be a hal mil with the maria. I have loyak and a river charge. What the amount of water that's flow in a particular pond or specific point of the river. The discharge mainly depends on biha mesh maria. Oh, I could read, you know, go amenia the volume and the velocity of the water and. waxa ku xireen biyo meesh mara inta leegi volume ka amount of water and the velocity of water iyo speed ka meesha ay biyo ku socdaan labadooduba velocity ga iyo iyo waxa la raada iyo volume of the water both these two uh, co elements also they depends on the force of the gravity labadoodu waxa ku soo xireen force of the gravity force of the gravity students waxaan uga jeeda the slope of the place meesha si kala sareenta ay leedahay slope ka ay leedahay meelba meesha ay ka hooseeyso ay ka biyo badan tahay that's why we have an in the 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 force of the gravity or the slope of the gravity the load of the river refers to materials that river ca carrying wax la da some of the load is, is carried in a solid uh in a solid act as abrasive tool in the banks and the parts of the river the lord of the river wax la dada wa lords ko waxyaabaha oo wabigu sido sida dhagaxaanta iyo waxyaabaha in liquid ka a solution way milma ko liquid ki laakiin lord of the river wa waxyaabaha material sida dhagaxaanta ee oo wabigu sido ayaa la dada lord of the river inta badan dhagaxaanta si wax u shaqeeyaan abrasive tool this is very important abrasive tool bo shaqeeyaan sidii ku wax nabaad guuriya erosion samay abrasive tool oo maxay halkii nabaad guurinay dhagaxaantaasi the banks and the bed of the river erfiyada wabiga iyo wabiga hoostiisa ama gunta hoose wabiga the banks means what the sides of the river the part of the river na was the lowest part of the river the amount of the load carried by the river depends on the volume of its water biyo ee wabigu sido waxay ku xirantahay ama loodka wabigu sido dhagxaanta wabigu sido waxay ku xirantahay the volume of the water yaani maxaa la raada biyo speed ka ku socdaan speed ka biyo ku socdaan hadii ay badan yihiin biyo meesha marayaan ay badan yihiin loodka ay sidaan oo badan yihiin macnaheedu the higher the volume the greater the stool marka sto biyo ay badan yihiin that means wax way the greater load loodka biyo sidaan aad iyo aad buu badan marka maxay ku xireen loodka inu biyo wabigu uu biyo badan sido ama load badan sido the volume of the water biya mesha marayn tay leeyihiin the load helps shaping the river channel both times width and the depth wax la dhaada 
لود كا اي بيوسيدان لما شي بي سامين لي وحي ساميان the width and the depth of the river وبيغا عرف يديسا يكون توسا وبيغا اي ساميان سو ساميان the width of the general معنى يقو is the shortest distance across the surface of the water from the banks to the side and مروح او قرقرا وبيغي بالا رحضا لود سكا اي وبيغي سيدان اسكلابتر بوكو سامية او قرقرا او سدو او قرقرا يا students وحو قرقرا يا وحلا رحضو and the width of the general بوسامين كلي وحو غيا لاكو is the shortest distance across the surface of water from one bank to another لغا حانتي بيها اي سيدين كل با وحي كسو غو ايان عرف كاسي مركو دعيان كل لا عرف كا كلي وبيغي كو دعيان سيدا عرف يدا وقو دعيان لغا حانتاس وحويان إروشن بيكو سميني وي قويني وبيجي مركز تي وبيجي قويانا عرفي دي وبيجي نو سي بلادنيا The depth of the river سيدو كنو قرقريا سكلابتر سيدو كو سميني refers to vertical distance from the surface of the water the pet the river كنو وحو قرقريا depth تيجي وبيجا عمي قنتي هو سي وبيجا ايو سامين كولي ونو قرقريا so this is very also important so إن شاء الله students both distance can be stated the metres or feet depth iga iyo width ka uleyahay general kuna waxa lagu cabira meter or feet please students that's all the, the lesson today i hope that you will understood uh, the lesson so inshallah uh, i will give you inshallah an exercise or assignment and i will upload you inshallah to google classroom so you have to read inshallah you have to uh, write to your notebook and you have to inshallah write the text that I give you. Thank you very much.